Hello again, everybody. Welcome back once more to the bookshelf in doorways. Holy mountains of flesh. Good news, though. I have figured out the puzzle with a little help from you as well. Um, I was wrong about two things, really. I was right in thinking that the clues on the page that we found on this podium here did correspond to the books and the book numbers and everything like that, but I kind of misinterpreted the clues. Okay, so let's just take a, a quick look at what it actually said. So... The first one I got right, okay, he holds truth in his arms. I thought that was Libra, which is five, that's fine. Uh, taps his heels and thunders his feathers. I'm gonna take issue with this one. It's actually Pegasus, even though on the drawing there is no feathers, there's no wings. Uh, the only reason I tried it out really is because I knew that Pegasus usually does have feathers and wings. I mean, he's a flying horse, famously, in, you know, Clash of the Titans, Hercules and stuff like that. So, yeah. I was wrong in thinking it was 5-7. It's actually 5-11, so that's why I, uh, I spent so much time doing doing this puzzle, really. The third one, um, again, you guys helped me out with this one in figuring out why. Uh, the best friend, the greatest one, doesn't mean the biggest. Not exactly, anyway. The best friend is, of course, a dog. In man's best friend, the greatest one, major. You know, Canis major, it all fits, okay? So, Canis major's nine. So, the actual uh, combination I had to put in was 5-11-9. And there's actually, I think, only one, well, not one row, but one sort of uh, color of books which has all of those, and it is red. So we go five, uh, let's see, so yeah, five, eleven, nine. There we are. Okay. And this is where I stopped playing because I didn't want to go in here, but here we are. Now we can proceed. Okay. So yeah, quite a tough puzzle to start this this act out on, really. What have we got here? Oh, Kidoki. What is that? The skull? Kind of, yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna have to place that somewhere. What was that? Oh, oh, okay. Right. What about that book? Oh, can't read it. Fine. Okay. Looks like we're going upstairs. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, when you're ready. Alright. Is that me? Oh, yep, that's a mirror at the end. It's getting pretty creepy again, honestly. God, I wish I had a flashlight or a lantern or something. Right, what's the deal with the mirror then? This is all... Oh. What is it? <laughs> oh! Oh, I think I was right! You can only see her in the mirrors! Right? She's there, but I can't see her. Why, why aren't you moving? Holy hell. That was intense. Okay, where am I now? Number two, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So I was pulled into the mirror world. Right. Should I be uh, wary of her walking around here somewhere? Probably. Okay. Let's uh. Let's see. Let's start off. Okay. So there's a bricked up doorway. Um. There's parts up there. No way up though. I don't think. It's fine. What's this? A little confessional. It looks like. Ah. We have a problem. Again, I think doorknob problems. That's a shame. Okay, so... Still got this. I guess I've got to find somewhere to put the, the skull in. Okay, so what's in here? Nice little dining area. Just when you thought the mansion couldn't get any bigger, it surprises you. And there's a mirror again. I suppose we should take special care in this place, right? If we can only see her in the mirrors, I don't want to stray too far from this. Oh. Oh, I see! Ah! Oh, that might be able to help me out in the next room, then. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so what's in the next room? We've got a nice little uh, library area. Oh, hang on, what's written down here? Memories began at one of the celebrations made outside the Taurus's mansion, to which every person from the village attended. A girl in her mid-teens, held by the arms, asking for help, and desperately trying to escape. 
was forced to drink the contents of a golden cup adorned with strange symbols. All the guests were surrounding her in a circle, clapping and singing as the girl began convulsing. The concentrated dose of the holy drink began to exert effect. After a while, she fainted on the floor, only to open her eyes again. She started to laugh, harder and harder, in a desperate, sinister way. Everyone surrounding her was singing something unintelligible in unison. It lasted for some minutes. Silence reigned. And then, there came the moment in which the owner of this memory was desperately trying to divert his look somewhere else. Right. Sounds like a fun little party they had there. Um, sure, let's move on. Ah, we got a staircase going uh, to nowhere, apparently. Weird. I, or is it one? The other room had numbers on it. Do they all? Hang on. This one's got a number on it as well. Four. Okay. Strange. Oh, hang on. No, there is something in this room apart from the staircase. It's a door. But there's no way I'm getting to it. <laughs> Unless I can sort of sidle... Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, a doorknob! Hey, that might help me with the confessional. Or one of the other doors that I found without a doorknob. There's no doors hidden around here or anything? Okay. What a strange place this is. Sure. Well, I've got to figure I've got to get up there somehow, right? That looks like... Is that a mirror? Looks like there's a few mirrors up there, actually. I don't know. Nothing up here in this room. I can I can move this back and forth, perhaps. I don't know. If I move it into the next room, perhaps I can see something in the reflection. Worth a shot, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, is that as far as I can take it? Yeah. Right to the edge of the room. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. And now I've trapped myself in. No, <laughs> I want to go back. So let's push it back. I can only push it back and forth, uh, by the way. I can't, you know, slide it to the side at all. Oh, there we go. Okay. And a bricked up doorway. That's strange. I'm assuming I can't go back through the mirror, right? It's cracked. Maybe that's why I need to get to something like that. A full mirror. A mirror that's actually not cracked. But first, we have this. And what do you know, it fits. Looks like another puzzle. Here we are. Okay, uh... So... Standing on a diamond? Not exactly a confessional like I thought it would be. Let's see what we can do with this. Is it a... Aha! It's a slide puzzle, I see! Okay. So... Let's see. There's, um... Have we got to get that diamond? Oh. Hang on, what am I doing? Oh, I can't select that one. Oh. I thought I had to get the diamond shape into the, the bottom right segment, but no, apparently not. And we can just... Change them. Okay. It looks like when the diamond's in the piece, it's anchored and I can't actually move it around, so... Fine, I suppose. Is there a two behind every single one of these? Kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Um... So, we, have we got to get these in order? I'm not really sure what we're doing here. Um... See, I don't know. Let's move it in the middle, maybe. Let's get nine over there. So yeah, I don't want to end the video on a slide puzzle. I I hate to uh, let you down twice in a row, really. The room we just came from, the room where this is, that has a two in it, doesn't it? Hold on, let me just. Let's just back out of this for a moment. Right. This is brilliant. This is actually brilliant. We're not moving puzzle pieces, we're moving the damn mansion around. Room by room. Okay, right, well, uh, I'm not really sure what the fuck I'm doing, but this is, this is pretty cool. 
Okay, so we have a nice little sitting area up here. A um, couple of doorways. Right, I... Oh, shit. It looks like there's a, there's a real way I have to put this together to make sense of all this. And oh, hang on. Something down here. Another bit of Celia's diary. We've been punished by a divine force. I'm sure about it. We've committed a serious sin. Doorways has let us down. And they only have to come down on us like a ton of bricks. We know what's going to happen when the potion begins to become scarce. It's something we've seen before, in one of the experiments. Something that made me sick. If the faithful bring themselves to that point, we won't be able to let them escape from this place. We'll have to take drastic measures. The offerings and sacrifices are no longer enough. Wow. So these guys have a, re a, a real direct link with doorways as well. How very strange. I don't think the others really knew about doorways all that much. Okay, what's up the other side? Well, we have a, we have a mirror. I'm not seeing any reflection of a, a ghost woman or anything, and I can't go through it. I can't use it. Hmm. Okay. And yeah, a, a doorway to nothing. If the pieces that I can sort of slide around were all in order, I assume once I get to the top floor, I can walk around and explore there as well. So, I, I should really be noting this down, probably. Let's see. Okay, so, we've had a look at two, and one, and four, I think. Let's see. So we're in that bottom left segment. Two is wherever I want it to be. Two is like a puzzle piece, but I'm not using it, if you know what I mean. What's all this about? Okay, just out of interest, I'm just going to go back out and, and see exactly what changed. Uh, what what is What is the diamond, exactly? Okay, oh, hang on, we're missing a staircase. That's what it is. That's what it is? Really? Hang on, so... I saw the staircase in number one before, didn't I? Let's just go around here. Um, I just want to check if number one doesn't have a staircase anymore. Uh, if I sort of move it around a little bit, let's see. Okay, so... Uh, if I put it back there, for instance. If I'm reading that right, I'll have access to number one. Which I do. And it's without a staircase. Okay, so the, the diamond is the staircase, and we need to put that in the right room once they're in the right order. This is hell. I don't know if I need to start doing diagrams of this place or what, but um, let's just note down the places I've been. I've been to one. I think I've been to... It was either four or five. Uh, eight. Sure. Okay, I'm just going to try and sort of check these off. And I guess try and figure out how they all fit together. It's a bit of a bastard, actually, because I think... I guess there's a piece missing in the bottom right, so I can't slide the five right or the, the one down right now. This is a bugger. It really is. Okay, so let's take a look at five and nine, I suppose. This is just going to be a lot of trial and error, really. I don't know what's in every room right now. Okay, so that's blocked up. Oh, right, yeah, of course, five. Five is the one with the mirror. Okay, so what's nine? Oh, shit. That's her. I assume she can't cross rooms. I'm hoping she can't. I don't think I can see her in the mirror. Maybe, am I say, Is she like a Medusa type character? There seems to be a, re you know, a lot of references to Greek mythology right now. Maybe I have to look in the mirror to defeat her or something. I can drag it towards the room. I don't know if I can drag it through the room. I feel like I'm going to die, to be honest. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Right. Okay, so this is room nine. What do we got? Relics. Come on. I haven't found a relic yet. Just skulls and daggers? Come on. There's got to be something more than that. What is this? Oh, three! There's another room. Another room. Of course, that goes on the peg. What on earth is that up there? Oh, that looks important. So to... Oh my god, to get up there, I'm going to need to get some stairs in room 9, or stairs in a room that joins up to room 9. My goodness. This is really complex. They're really going hard with the puzzles right now. I'm really going to have to sit down and think about this, I think. I really like that about doorways. If you think about the previous games, for instance, the first three chapters, and then this one, there's so much variety to the to the monsters and the puzzles, and think to a couple of videos ago in this series, when we were in the school, we didn't have to deal with anything like this. 
Okay, so we want to... It looks like we want to be in, in room 9 on the first floor. So there's only a certain amount of rooms you can actually put the staircase in. Right. Well, let's let's get this puzzle piece back in where it should be. Here we are. There you go. Now that should be easier, actually, because now I, I guess I can move them all around. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so now we can use the bottom right little area. Great. Now... Gotta, I've got to really think about this. Is there a way they can all join together to make one long corridor? Is that even possible? I don't know if it is, you know. But I tell you what, let's have a look at three, because it was kept away from us for some reason. Let's find out why. Let's put three up there. So I'm in two. I should have access to, uh, to three now, right? So let's see three. This is three. Right? Yeah, three is a library. Gotta be honest, I'm kinda sick and tired of books after that puzzle last time. Alright, okay, hang on, we have something here. More of Celia's diary. People are showing late abstinence symptoms. They are furious and aggressive. Yesterday I saw how a person broke his own neck, writhing his body. Yesterday we set in motion the preparations for the massive sacrifice. The faithful are being led to the main square. Right. I feel that I might be reading this out of order. I'm not sure. So three, okay. I really do have to pay attention to what's going on in, in the sort of, on the first floor of each of these rooms. So we got a couple of doors over there, I think. Or is that just like a bookcase? Yeah, no, two doors bricked up on one side because I haven't connected the rooms properly. This is a bloody nightmare. Tell you what though, I'm pretty sure that room three had an option to put the diamond in. It did, so let's put the diamond in there, see if we can get some stairs up. Yeah? Where are the stairs? Ah, there they are. Okay, I've, I've got a feeling that this is not the right place. But, I don't know, maybe I can see something? I can definitely see that a little better. There's nothing else. It is just a, a connecting little doorway there. There's nothing on top of this to find. Okay. Oh, hang on! There is actually something here, though! More of Celia's diary. August 19th now. These creases in my face make me so squeamish. Could it be the arid weather? I need to get better cream. Juan said it's nothing. Lying in good faith. He does it to get my mood up. His pity. Only makes my stomach churn. Right. Right, let's go back and fiddle with the puzzle pieces again. See if I can get into another room, perhaps. Hopefully figure all this out. Okay, I've got access to five. I've got access to seven for, I think, the first time, so I want to see what's in seven as well. So we have to go through... Hang on, what's this? Have I been here before? No, I don't think I have. What's this? This is six! Okay, so I've got access to two new rooms here. Let's see. Okay, oh, hang on, what's that? Is that just a book or is there something to read? There is actually something to read. What is it? Celia's diary? I don't think so, no. Mr. Alvin, a few days ago, my wife, Celia, placed an order requesting many mirrors, large size ones. Oh, it's from Juan. I'd like to ask you to pick them back uh, pick them back up whenever possible, as this transaction was made without my consent. I beg you to not accept another order on my behalf unless it's issued in my very own handwriting. Sorry for the inconvenience. Juan Torres. Yeah, very much obsessed with mirrors. I didn't see too many at the very beginning of this game, but no, there are there are so many just along the, the tops of the corridors in every single room, it seems. We have a we have a door here. Ah, oh, again. It's like the ones in the uh in the video beforehand without doorknobs. I can't seem to use them. Okay, anyway. Right, there's another room, room seven. I'm eager to know what's in there. Ooh! Hello? Ah! I need a key! I need a key to get into room 7. Right, so where do I find a key? I have a feeling the key is going to be hidden somewhere on the first floor levels of one of the rooms I've already been in. Right, let's mess around with the puzzle again. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. Okay, alright, let's see exactly what 6 is like with the, uh, with the staircase there. Over here, right? Yep, okay, okay, we can go up. It all seems to fit. Maybe this is where we need to start the journey. Ooh, there's a door there as well. What's that on the front of it? Oh, man. Oh, no. It's, it's a bit more complicated than that. Shit, hang on. I do have a skull. 
No! Damn! That's the only thing I found right now. It looks like I have to insert something into... I don't know what this is, really. It looks like it might be a remnant of a statue before I can open the handle. Okay. This is doing a number on my brain. Really, really heavy on the puzzles. Alright, back to the back to the slide puzzle, let's see. Okay, let's see how this changes. Okay, so we're in room number eight again. Okay. Can we go up and Ah, really? Ah, damn, it's round the wrong way. Ah, I might be onto something now. Right, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go up here, and I think I'll be able to actually go through to another room on the first floor. Right, okay. Yes. Shit. <laughs> okay. That seems to connect, though. I can actually go through. So, what room are we in now? What number was that? Hang on, I can just about see it down there. So this is three. Three needs con to connect to something else. So it seems that eight and three are connected, but three needs to connect to something else. Oh my goodness. Okay, right, so eight and three I think are connected. I'm just gonna put this diamond back in eight. Hopefully three connects to nine. And I can find something in nine. Okay, so... Yeah, must be going this way. Yeah, okay. I think I'm getting it. It's taken me a while, but I think I am getting this. Can we go... We can go through! Okay! Right, so this is the top of nine. Now, let's see. We have found a key. But which door is that going to help me out with? I guess it's going to be to access seven. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Run, run, run as fast as you can, you fool. Oh, shit. I think I can see her ghost or something. Okay, get in here, get in here quick. We're safe in here, right? Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Whew, let's hope so. Anyway, okay, so uh, getting to seven shouldn't be that difficult, really, let's be honest. So let's just move that around here. Let's just make sure that seven is connected to something like uh, five, for instance. Let me just sort this out. Okay, so now I can go from two to five to seven and try out that key. She hasn't attacked me yet. Maybe she's just outside. Okay. Okay. Good, good. So, right, I have this key. Let's see if we can enter room number seven. Yes! Alright! What's up with that mirror? Is it broken? Seems like it's ready to shatter. Oh boy. I don't know if I want to run to the mirror or, or not, to be honest. Whew. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, so this is room seven. This one... This one, I think, was the only one that I couldn't actually go in initially, on any on any level. There's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason, right? Come on. What's up with this mirror? Nothing. Can't move it. Okay. Is there something on one of the tables? Or something up there? There's actually nothing at all. Am I being silly? Am I missing something? Kinda of feels like it. Although, hold on. This just looks too perfect, right? Can we just pull this mirror straight through? Probably not. It's probably going to be limited to the room. I'm going to let go of it in a sec, I think, probably. No, I... Oh god, I can drag it right through. And I'm locked in. Right? Oh, fuck, I actually am. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, hang on. Shit. 
It's really hard to get a proper angle, but I think there's actually someone behind me. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, there's something. Oh. What in the fuck is this? Whoa! Whoa, whoa! What is going on? Hold on, is, is this like a... Am I, am I time traveling here? Teleporting between dimensions? Perhaps there's something in here now? Yes, there is. It's a... a dagger! Whoa, whoa! Shit! The dagger, the dagger. Oh, the dagger! I probably have to insert that into the door, don't I? Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's go. Let's... let's get back, shall we? Unless... do I stay in this world? Can I open this door? I don't think so. No. Alright, we're going back. This has been a really, really fun act so far. What the fuck? Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching this part of Doorway's Holy Mountains of Flesh. I hope you're still enjoying the series. It's very, very puzzle heavy right now, but we are making progress. A little bit different than last time, I think. Okay, so in the next part, I'm going to go back to the slide puzzle, sort out all the rooms again, hopefully get to the first floor, and try and insert that dagger into that first floor door to get through. See you then. Looks like we're going upstairs. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, when you're ready. What is it? Oh, she's there, but I can't see her. Why, why aren't you moving? Holy hell. <laughs> Right. This is brilliant. This is actually brilliant. Five is the one with the mirror. Okay, so what's nine? Oh, shit. There's another room, room seven. I'm eager to know what's in there. Oh, hello. Right, let's mess around with the puzzle again. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. I'll go up here, and I think I'll be able to actually go through to another room on the first floor. Right, okay. Yes! Shit! <laughs> but which door is that gonna help me out with? I guess it's gonna be to access seven? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ!